sat down and filmed two other unboxings. I'm going to do my third unboxing in a row. You're going to get slammed with unboxings from my channel, and I haven't uploaded it in a while. I wanted to share with you guys what I got in my Target Beauty Box recently. My husband actually saw this and ordered it for me because he knows that they always go so quickly. This one was either like $7 or $10, something like that, and if you use your red card, it always counts off. You get 5% off when you use a red card, plus my husband has a discount. But these are always a fantastic deal, and they have really good stuff in them, so I thought I would just share with you guys what came in this one. I always encourage you to check out the Target Beauty Boxes when they come out and pick them up if you're interested in the stuff in them. They at least tell you what's in them before you buy them, which is nice. The kind of nice thing that always comes with them is they always have a $3 off coupon, so this is $3 off a $15 cosmetic skincare or hair care purchase at Target. This expires on the 11th of June, which is nice. And so you always have that coupon. I have only spent mine once, I think. I've gotten the coupon before and it went bad like within a week, or it expired within a week, and so I didn't have time to spend it. I haven't been going to Target that often because my husband works at Target, so I usually have him pick stuff up for me because I'm lazy. So I need to go check that out. But this month's box is really, really good, so I thought I'd share with you guys what's in it, and I'm actually going to save a few of these things for giveaways because I actually already have them. So the first thing that I'm actually going to share for a giveaway is the Clairol Hair Food Sulfate Free Dry Shampoo Infused with Kiwi Fragrance. I've heard some people say that they really like this. I've only used it once. I have one of these, and I have so many dry shampoos that I think I'm going to save this for a giveaway and send that off with you guys. So look for a giveaway sometime in the semi-near future. I have a bag full of stuff that I've had forever that I need to actually do my giveaway for. And this one, I'm not sure if it's gonna go in the giveaway or not. I need to double check. I think I might have had this one and maybe decluttered it. I need to watch my old videos and double check. But this is the L'Oreal Lilac in Lackey U 207. I'm not gonna open it or swatch it because I don't know for sure if I had this one or not. So I'm going to decide that and I'll figure it out. If I did have it and declutter it, I'm going to save it sealed and put it in my giveaway. If I didn't have it, then I might play with it and see. But I have this weird feeling that I had this one before. I can't remember. So I need to go back and watch my video. Um, but I really do like the Lilax and Lamats. So I actually have a couple of them here. So I have a Lamat from the old original collection that was in matte for me, which is actually one of my all-time favorite ready pinks. And then I have this Lilac. This one's Lackey Charm. So I already had those. This one I'll figure out if I did have or not. Oh, yeah. And I have another Lamat over here. No, Lilac over here, which was in Never Lacking. So I have a couple of them. A couple of those are the old collections that I really did like. They re-released them, which is this one. And they're permanent now. But I don't know how I feel about this one. So I will figure out if I don't have it or if I didn't have it. I might swatch it, but if I did have it, then I will just put it in my giveaway. The next thing that came in this box is the CeraVe Foaming Cloth facial cleanser for normal to oily skin, which is actually perfect for me because I do have oily skin. It doesn't really have a smell or anything. It does not sound like there's like a lot of product in here, which I'm confused by. But I'm sure I will use that. It's a little tiny travel guy, which is kind of nice. I will, it's a sample size, so I will use that. You will see it in my empties and hear how it goes. And then I have the Derma E Firming DMAE Moisturizer. This one doesn't have much of a smell to it. It's supposed to have Jojoba oil, DMAE, and vitamins A and E to support healthy elasticity and visibly firm and lift skin. So is this for like face? Body? Both? I have no idea. Let me know if you know anything about this because it doesn't really have a whole lot on it. So I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Next up is a little packet that's the Egyptian Magic All-Purpose Skin Cream. And this is supposed to be intense moisture for face and body and works great as a makeup remover or primer too. Those kind of products always confuse me. How is it a primer and a makeup remover? How can it be both? How is that a thing? I don't understand. But it's a little tiny sample. I will probably end up using it on my skin, honestly, um, on my body, not on my face. I don't need intense moisture on my face necessarily. The thing that I am most excited about and I've gotten in a Target Beauty box before is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And this one's actually supposed to be for dry skin. Like on the front of it, it says for normal to dry skin. I have oily skin and I used it and I loved it. It lasted me a really long time. Like it's a little sample like this guy before, but it lasted a long time. And it just feels really good. Like my skin felt so soft when I used it and it was wonderful and I loved it. Um, and so at some point I will buy a full size of it, but until then, I'm happy with this size, and Theo is hanging out. So, that was Theo. Um, so I'm super excited. That's the thing I'm most excited. Are you kidding me? So that is the thing that I am most excited about, honestly, from this box. 
The next thing that I have is a cleansing oil from Burt's Bees. So this is the Burt's Bees cleansing oil with coconut and argan oils for normal to dry skin, which my skin is not necessarily normal to dry, but you know, that's okay. I like cleansing oils. I'm always intrigued by them. Smells interesting. Doesn't smell bad necessarily. Just smells fine. So I will use that and it's got like a nice little top like that so I don't have to um, open it and close it every time, which will be good. I got a L'Oreal Sublime Bronze self-tanning towelette for body, and this is na medium natural tan. I don't have great luck with self-tanners, honestly, so this one's supposed to be a little towel that you just wipe all over. We'll see how that goes. I don't like the ones, if this one has like color and it shows me where I went, that's good. The ones that don't have color do not help me because I always miss patches. So I had tan towels for a long time and like I always missed giant patches, like especially on my arm here. It never went well. So like self-tanner, that I used the Saint Tropez stuff. It that one actually has color, so I can tell where it goes for the most part, and I don't get too streaky. But these are always a little hit and miss for me. And the last thing in the box is the Andalou Naturals Reservatrol Q10 Night Repair Cream. So it's supposed to be age defying for dry to very dry skin again. So this is supposed to help stimulate circulation, slow cellular damage, and speed healthy cell renewal for improved dermal texture. Diminishing fine lines and wrinkles overnight. I have wrinkles up here, so that'll be good, hopefully. It seems really small for that size, but this is what it is. And you're supposed to use it nightly. So that is it for what I got in my Target Beauty Box. I am excited. A lot of this skincare is really great. I just need to figure out how to use it, but I'm excited to get it and try it out. I would love to know if you guys have gotten a Target Beauty Box recently, or if you've tried any of these products and you know how to use them, or you have any suggestions for them, or you love them or hate them. Let me know that in the comments below. I'm curious to know. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing string of videos. I will leave all the other unboxings that I've done recently linked here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.